Have you ever lost a fight? If not, that means you haven't fought enough. You win some, you lose some, but when you're losing, a loss is tough. We try to duck the blows from the punches thrown, but there are times we all get touched. And sometimes we get knocked down and after the fall give up. A lot of us look at failures as something to fear and we fear what we don't understand. So because we can't process the losses, we never snap back like a broken rubber band. We fear failing relationships so we don't let anyone get close to us to even see it work. We push them away looking to stay free from hurt. We've had countless business ideas and we see ahead how hard the road is. But then the first roadblock that off-roads us leaves us roadless and without direction. We fail to follow through. We set many goals for health, wealth, and to self-improve. We've even been failed by others. The broken trust that left us broken up. So instead of trying to vet better, we just never open up. It's because we fail that we derail from our purpose, so we retreat. I don't care if your goal is to speak Greek or end up in the C-suite. We start off ready to fight, ready to take over the world, and there's no denying us. Then we allow a few hits to strip the will to fight from us. But those L's should enlighten us, spark a fire inside of us. See, we have failed to win because we don't understand that you have to fail to win. Sir James Dyson made over 5,000 failed prototypes before making the perfect product. Steven Spielberg was rejected twice from art school before making the movies that he brought us. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school team, but now we consider him the GOAT. Chris Gardner is worth 70 million, but before his pursuit of happiness, he was lacking this. He was broke. Robert Kiyosaki started businesses that went bankrupt. Oprah was fired from television. I mean, she was straight cut. See what doesn't kill us will just make us stronger unless we allow it to weaken us. Anything worth doing is going to require a fight even after getting beaten up. The defeat will just be the thing that's teaching us how to stick and move. So when we get back up after the fight, see now it's a different mood, a different mindset, but we have to be prepared to fight.